Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly reading for January 29th through February 4th. Now this is a love reading, so if you are in a happily happy happy love relationship, this probably isn't for you. This is usually for people that are struggling in love in some way, so keep that in mind. And this is not a private reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Oh, there's lack of wish fulfillment here, but you know, this is also lack of healing. It's the star reversed. So in order for your wishes to be fulfilled, you need to let yourself heal. All right. You have to accept the truth of something. All right. If you live in a state of denial, then you're not healing. Okay. Healing is needed. You need to accept the truth of a situation. Okay. Oh, because no new offers can come in. This is the Ace of Pentacles next to the Ace of Swords. They're both reversed next to the star reversed. This is telling me that many of you are not receiving what you desire because you're not letting it come in. You're holding on to something. Okay, you're not, ex you're not accepting the truth of a situation. Therefore, you're not manifesting change or newness. All right. There's, there's uh, somebody is being too controlling, okay? There's a lot of control here. Maybe you're trying to control the situation. Um, maybe you're not being focused enough on yourself. Maybe you're not he working on healing. Maybe you're burying your emotions in your work, okay? That could certainly be the case. At this point, it feels like there's a ma very materialistic energy. Um and masculine okay like you're not um catering to your feminine side okay that's what i see it's like you're not letting yourself go through the process of healing that you need to go through yeah i think you're healing in some way but you're still holding on to something instead of just cutting it out of your life instead of using the sword to cut the cord, you're still holding on to something. And because you're still holding on, the universe knows that you're holding on. So they're not bringing you your ultimate wish. Okay? They're not bringing you this new opportunity because you're still holding on to something. You haven't completely cut the cord. That's what I see. I feel like, I mean, this is the emperor. But I when I look at this card, I think of the devil. Okay? So, I mean, I do. That's what I think of. So when I see it, it, it is the emperor. It's about masculine. It's about domination. It's about stability and security. But it's also very controlling. All right? Like the devil. All right? So I, be, I feel like you guys haven't been able to control your emotions regarding your past. You're not quite there yet. You're, the, you're getting there, but I'm not sure you're quite there. Um... Yeah, yeah, you guys are focused on a past commitment of some sort, and you're feeling discontent. And it's really time for you to stand up for yourself. Okay, it is. It's really time for you to stand up, period. And let yourself go through this new growth with enthusiasm. Okay? <clears throat> it feels like there's been a, some kind of breakup. There's been some kind of split. And you're still you're still holding on to it. You haven't cut the cords with that split. You could be you could have been involved with somebody who um, really you thought fulfilled your wishes, but this person had a really big ego. It really, I mean, this is ego and this is ego. I think you were dealing with somebody that has a very big ego, you know. And I don't want to send come off the wrong way, but even you. Your ego could be hurt because of this split. And that typically happens when there's a split. It's time for you to get over this loss and realize that there's a new beginning, that there's new prospects. It's time to realize the truth, okay? There are other options for you. This is the Five of Cups. There is somebody else that can fulfill your wishes, 
okay? You have the power. Ask and you shall receive. And this is like the genie. You ask and you shall receive. Make your wish and you will receive it. But right now, your wish is not coming true because you haven't cut the cord with somebody in your past, okay? And you can't lie to the universe, so you can be separated from this person. But if you haven't cut the cord mentally, if you're still crying about it, you know, if you're still feeling guilty, if you're still feeling rejected, if your ego is still hurt, then, you know, you haven't healed yet, okay? And I see this. Many of you have not because the first card that came out was the star card. Instead of having hope for the future, instead of um, having the ultimate wish fulfillment, and instead of letting yourself heal fully, somebody's not because this card is reversed, okay? Somebody is not listening to their inner guide. They're not. Okay, they're not using all the power that they have when this is upright. This is the high priestess. When the high priestess is upright, you use your inner power to succeed. Okay, your inner wisdom, your inner guide. But because it's reversed, you're not. You're not using all of your power to move out of this situation. And I believe it's between, you know, somebody that there's been a break, there's been a split. And you're not letting, you're removing yourself from the situation. You're not using your power to do that. Um, so let's get this zoomed in. And I'm just going to turn this light off. I do apologize. There we go. Um... You have the power to have your wish granted. All you have to do is make your wish, have faith, and believe, and let go. That's what I see. It's like you, you have, this is the power as well. The Ace of Swords is the power. But you, it's reversed. You're not using the power within you to cut a cord. And because you have not cut the cord, there's no new opportunities coming into your life. All right. So this week is about cutting that cord. Finally, finally, let's see if we get the justice card. I mean, that's finality. Um, but I feel like you guys are, it's time to take a stand. It's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to get your life back on track. It's time to realize the truth. Something is over. Accept it. Heal from it. Let yourself heal. Make a new wish and use your powers to grant it. I want to know what this Three of Cups is here. Generally, that's a gift or um, a friendship, but it can also be a third party, okay? So I want to know what it is. Maybe you need to go out with your friends. I don't know. Maybe you need to celebrate your new life. I do believe that you need to look at this as a time of inspiration, but you're not. Some of you aren't. You're wanting romance. That's what's going on. This is the Knight of Cups. You're wanting romance. It's like, I deserve more. I want more. I am looking for love. And you know, an offer of love is right around the corner. You, I think there's, you know, with this Page of Swords reversed, it's like, I feel like, you are bringing about your own conflicts. Your own restless energy is holding this new love from coming in. This this page of swords is like, it's almost like there's some kind of stalking going on. There's, and I don't know if that's you us looking up your ex or your ex is looking up you. I don't know, but there's some, some back and forth uh, observation going on now if this isn't your ex it certainly could be new love okay it could be because this is an offer of love but I feel like this is an ex I think this is an ex I think that you are hoping to get back together with your ex I mean that's what it's, I see but I think you know what's kind of funny here is I see that on one hand you're thinking about the ex but on the other you kind of want somebody new and that's what I see it's like you're reminiscing about your ex and you're observing and you're watching and you're looking them up and you haven't quite healed. But on the other hand, you're looking for something better. You're looking for something new. So there's a lot of mixed emotions here. That's what I see. And it's really time to really, one way or the other, what's it going to be? Okay? 
you're at this crossroad, crossroads, what's it going to be? Do you want your ex or do you want to move forward? What is it going to be? It's time to make your decision. Accept the truth. Do you want to heal or do you want to go backwards? I mean, it's decision making time. You can't keep the blindfold on. You can't keep pretending. You can't stay. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Oh, you absolutely need to start, stop juggling with your mind. Do you want to move forward or do you want to go backwards? Do you want to go back with your ex or do you want somebody new? That is the question. <sighs> Many of you are afraid to take a risk. You're afraid to move forward with somebody else for fear of getting hurt again, going through the same thing. You may be feeling at this time, you know, I just need to work on me. I got to work on my finances. I, I can't work on love right now. And that that's a cop out. I'm going to bury myself in my work and just pretend, just pretend that everything is okay. And, you know, I really should let this go. I really should let this go because this heavy burden is weighing me down. But I've been avoiding it. I've been avoiding letting it go. I've been avoiding it. But I know that I need to because it doesn't fulfill my wishes. I don't think it does. All I'm looking for is happily ever after. That's all I really want. I'm looking for the ultimate happiness in a relationship. If you could just bring me some permanent love, that would be great. Because I'm sick of fighting for it. I really am. You have, for some of you, you've lost your determination to find love. But you deserve more and you know you do. You know you deserve more. But you have to give to love too. It takes two. And so you've lost some of your confidence. You've lost some of your self-esteem. You feel like you can't move forward because you can't get your ex out of your mind. And it's halting your new chapter. It's halting your new beginning because you can't make a decision. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. What's it going to be? It's time for this completion. It's time for you to use your sword. It's time for you to accept the truth. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to move on and stand up for yourself and to realize that you have other options. It's time for you to use your power to cut the cord with the past and learn this karmic lesson or any lesson and step over the finish line and make it final and celebrate that as, as a success. But you have this fear, fear of the unknown. Something is not all as it seems. There's hidden forces here. There's some kind of secret. There's something going on that you don't know about. And you really want to know what it is, right? Whatever it is, it's not going to make you happy. Your ex could be involved with somebody else already. And you just, there's no need to compete anymore. There really isn't. All that does is bring conflicts to your life. It's time for you to spin the wheel and start your new chapter. That's what you need to do. But it's going to take strength, okay? And you're lacking in that arena. The strength card is reversed. You're lacking the confidence, the courage, the, the discipline, the determination to move forward. And work on yourself, nurture yourself, grow into what you want to be. It's time for you to invest in yourself and your dreams, your future, because living in this insecure place doesn't serve you very well.
Stop resisting. Stop. There's no need for you to stay stuck on your ex. It's time for you to build a new foundation and to stop, to quit. It's time for you to quit on your ex. You have multiple choices, okay? You do. Make the choice. You are being offered a new opportunity, perhaps a new sexual partner. Should you really cut the cord? It's all in your hands. Now you have these three aces. One, one, one. Your thoughts become things, and that is the basis of your reading. If you are still thinking about your ex, there are no new opportunities coming in. If you are have cut the cord with your ex, or when you're ready to cut the cord with your ex, a new sexual partner will come into your life. But you must stand up for yourself. You must bring structure back to your life. You must use your power to cut the past out. You must stop resisting. You must make your wish and believe in it. And you must realize that you have other opportunities and move forward. You have, you have the opportunity for growth, passion, excitement, but you got to let go. This is a week of letting go, really, really deciding, making that decision. Do you want to go back to your ex or do you want to move forward? It's time to make the final decision, Taurus. If you make that decision and you mean it and you have proved it to the universe, they will bring you in a new opportunity. The choice is yours. Let it go. That's the hangman. Now we are going to get you an advice card, and I think we are going to go with this angel romance. Not angel romance. Daily angel guidance. Ooh. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you have been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. This tells me that somebody from the other side is trying to push you to make a decision. That's what, they're, that's what it tells me. Right here, you're getting a sign. Right now, you're getting a sign, and that's why this card came out. To let you know that this is a sign to move on. Move on. I believe this is a singles reading, and I am going to label it as such. You have received a sign to move on. The time is now. Bring back the structure to your life. Cut the cord so that this new opportunity and love can come in. This is your message. Talk to you next week.